Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss <coughs> on how to download a satellite image and how to paste it into Civil 3D. For this uh, case, I'm going to download the satellite image from a software called SAS Planet. So this is the name, sasplanet.exe. So I'm going to open it first. The user interface is very easy to use. So we can see this is the satellite image. Right now it is currently showing the satellite, satellite image from the Bing maps. You can also select the Google maps. So you can see this here. So all the satellite images available in this uh, software may not be clear. So you can just select the ones that is clearer for you. So I just click on this Bing maps. So you can see that this image is quite better than the Google satellite image. However, this is for my case. However, in case of your image, the Google map satellite image may be better. So it depends upon the location and the availability of the satellite image. Now, I think I will just download this area here for my uh, work. So I'll just select this area. For this, I'll click here. In the drop down menu, you can see the rectangular selection, polygon selection, polyline selection, and by coordinates. I will just use the rectangular selection. However, in case of irregular se selection, you can also choose the polygonal section. For this case, I will just use the rectangular section. I will just uh, choose, um, I guess, uh, around this area. Okay, now this the area is selected. Again, the selection is beam max maps satellite. So uh, to download your uh, image faster, you can split the selection to parts. So I'll just separate it into four parts and the zooms, I'll just select it to be 22. So the lower the zoom, the more dis uh, blurred the image you will get. The higher the zoom, the more clearer the image you will get. So you, it depends upon how much accuracy you need while you do your work it's you, for a great area you can choose the lower zoom version because you do, may not need to have a detailed image while in case of smaller area like in my case i'll just choose a zoom of 22 you can also go for 24 but uh, as i said it will take time because more detailed image is required i'll just press on start now you can see the window is divided into four parts as i clicked previously so the time remaining is zero zero zero. So for higher quality image, the time will be required more. The time required may be more. In my case, all of my works downloading works is complete. So I'll just click on quit. Now I'll again press on this drop down button and click on the last selection that is the previous selection selected area. Now my download is complete. So I'll just stitch the image together. The output format you can choose whatever format you want. So, for an image only, you can go for JPEG, PNG. However, for image with coordinates, you can go for the Enhanced Compression Wavelet. That is the ECW file. I'll just select the area uh, where I want to put my place my downloaded image. So I'll just type here image. I'll just click on here and I'll type here ECW file and just click on save. Now I will also like to create a georeferencing file, a KML file so I can check it out into Google Earth as well. And the projection I'll choose as Mercator WGS84. So you can choose any of the four you want. So I'll just click this one here and I'll again press start. It will now process the ECW file. For a larger file, it will take more time. For a smaller file, it will take less time. Now you can see that the image file, that is the ECW file, is downloaded. Also, a KML file is also here, so you can check the KML file as well. This will open uh, the Google Earth software and show the location of the image in Google Earth. So the Google Earth is being loaded so you can see the image is being zoomed into the actual location so that x written here shows the lo the located 
location of the image I have just downloaded. So this shows the location of the image in Google Earth. So you can see that it's located here. Now I'll download import this image into uh, Civil 3D. For that, uh, firstly I will type in map and then I n this map m a p i i n s e r d. This will help me import the downloaded ECW file. So I'll just go into the image file and then select the ECW dot ECW file and then press enter. It will you can also change this insertion point location. However, if you want this into the coordinate system, it uh, you shall leave it as it is and then press OK. Now you press Z, Enter, E, Enter, and now you can see your image. The image is in scale, so if this is a road, you can measure the length of the road from this image. Like the length is f around 5 meters. Also, if you want to measure this building, area of this building, you can also measure it from here. It, this method is really good for developing master plans or also checking out the plan into a satellite image so that your master plan is, uh, you can verify your master plan in the satellite image so that it is okay and serves the required function as shown in the satellite image. So you can see that this pulley line here has an area of 137.146 square meters. The length of the perimeter is 47.228 square uh, meters. Similarly, you can develop uh, other ECW files and then download it. So I'll just delete this file here and I'll import another file just to show you. Map MAPII -E NESERT map insert. So I'll just uh, click on the I'll show you another file here. Okay. Parting, I think this this will be a good file. Again, I'll just press enter and then set enter e enter that is zoom extend. So you can see this file here. In this file I I've selected the polygonal selection. So it tells me take take the area I need. So you can zo zoom in here. You can now this is a parking space available here so you can see the parking space area you can also change your the master plan as per your requirement so this works a lot better for a large area as well for smaller area the satellite image may not be accurate but for larger area it tends to be more accurate so you can see here the area is 8736 square meter so you can now you now have an area without solving the area and now you can plan your parking spaces here and that will be more accurate than just measuring it from tape in the site because the area is large you either need a total station or a GPS to have a good area measurement this method is quite suitable for a preliminary analysis feasibility study and also when the available measurement tools are uh, less so Hope this video helps you in your planning works and also helps in your work execution. Thank you for watching this video.